So welcome to the D4A Personal Injury Show, guys. I'm your host, Jean-Paul Anderson, and today I'm sitting here with Dr. Tony from Euclid Chiropractic, located in Upland, California. I hope you guys brought your best listening hats because we're about to listen to a doctor who really knows his stuff. What? So here okay. we go. <laughs> Please introduce yourself, doctor. Good. I'm Dr. Anthony Rack. I've been practicing about 21 years now. In Southern California, obviously, I've uh, been in this practice for about 18 years, associate for two years. We we built a good traditional practice, I want to call it that, a family practice. Uh, we do uh, mostly cash and um, PPO and some PI too. We keep it very simple. A doctor, we, even my partner and I, he's about five years older than me, even practice five years older than me. And we yeah. kind of keep it very simple. We don't, we don't, we have hours, but we're not, we're not going crazy the hours. We just try to take our hours and make sure we see a lot of people during those hours. We, we keep it very simple. We have an Austin awesome engineer forever too. She runs the show for us, which I'm very thankful for. And we just see people, my friend. We just crack back. So next, what I do all day. Wonderful. So I was just going to ask you that is, you know, how do you engage with your, your community or your local community as well as your online community? And how do you educate them, you know, with the benefits of chiropractic care? Good question, John Paul. I we do a lot of social media. We do videos at least three or four days a week. We have our own podcast, also Crooked Spine Show. We've done that since 2016. We've been on the on the World Wide Web, they used to call it back then, uh, since 2012, since it opened, I think. We've had we have our YouTube, our Facebook, we have our main Facebook page, we have our separate podcast Facebook page, we have our personal one too. I put stuff on there. Instagram, nice. TikTok, LinkedIn, Google Plus page, Yelp page. And whatever else is out there, we're probably on there too. Wonderful. That's awesome. I'm glad yeah. to hear that. Um, and how do you guys educate? I mean, so you have a postgraduate degree in, in training in auto accident, like rehabilitation. Yes. Um, how, how does that enhance your ability to help patients uh, who, you know, have been involved in a car accident? Well, and, well I did the, uh, the cross seminars down in San Diego uh, a few years back, and, and we kind of keep updated what's going on too. A lot of it is understanding how, how accidents actually affect the ligaments and muscles and joints of the body, what the recovery time is to be to be realistic with the patient, and how to diagnose it properly too. We do a lot of our own in-office x-rays. Again, this practice, this, my practice has been around for since 1980. Have our own x-ray machine here. We send them out for MRIs if needed, pain management needed too, and also shots needed too. We want to make sure the patient in a short period of time, like you guys too, get yeah. the right care consistent care to get themselves better as fast as possible. That's the, key with, that's the key with recovery, correct? Absolutely. We make sure that they get better and understand. My goal with every new personal injury patient we get in our office is to make sure they understand our goal is to make sure when you leave our office, you actually don't, symptoms you have now, what you feel, the back pain, neck pain, headaches, whatever is going on in your body from the accident, it does not come back. Yes. It stays away and goes away. So I don't care. And I don't care what the attorney says. Right. It says I want to make sure they get better no matter how long it takes. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. That's and um, I, I, this is kind of off subject a little, well, not sure. kind of anyways, but uh, I had, we had a, a guest um, or not a guest, but somebody from the community write us who wanted to ask, uh, I guess this person was involved in an accident and has scoliosis. Uh, are there any techniques uh, or therapies that uh, this person can do in order to manage their condition? Mm -hmm. A lot of what scoliosis is a secondary factor where now you have a spine that was, that is not, if you want to call it stable, it may have some symptoms going into an accident. An accident like that would actually exacerbate those symptoms to make them feel worse. Oh. So realize you're not only going to recover from the trauma from the accident, the soft tissue and hard tissue, ligament strain, muscle strain, and, and bone possibly, if you want to call it a bone bruise, but also figure out, you now how is that accident made that scoliosis more torqued, more twisted, more curved, and how you reduce that with not only safe physical therapy, but also home rehab, home stretching. You have to be more aggressive with those, make sure the body, again, heals completely. Wonderful. Wow, that's very interesting. And do you treat any minors? Um, are there any sure. techniques or, or anything like that specific that- Not, uh, not techniques, but more of making sure they're comfortable. Okay. You know? We had, a, we had a family come in I'm mean, an accident about probably about uh, three months ago, husband, wife, and two kids. And a lot of it was making sure they're comfortable and understanding, letting the parents know how to talk to their kids about where the pain is. 
How long do they have pain for? When they check them at home, is it pain in the morning? Is it at night? How do they sleep? Are they waking up worse? Are they playing sports? Does the sports make them worse? I, I did a, uh, I posted a uh, review today from a, a wife and, or a, a mom and a son who are in an accident, a T-bone, bad T-bone accident. And the son was having pain going on for about two, three weeks, treated him and that went away, but also we want to make sure they're still playing sports again. So, yeah. class. so it's not only how they feel, but how they feel in their normal environments, normal activities, their normal day. Yeah, absolutely. And do you think, um, do you think nutrition plays a, a big role in their recovery? And I huge, mean, huge, you yeah. huge. talk about some foods that are inflammatory, such yeah. as fried food. I love French fries, love chili cheese fries, <laughs> yeah. so so my cheese, cheese fries. <laughs> but that may not be the best for my recovery. <laughs> they have inflammatory foods, such as uh, if you want to call it more vegetables, uh, more fruits for one, too. Also, leaner meats have more anti-inflammatory processes. Also, if you want, make sure we're hydrating well, too. Make sure you're yeah. drinking enough water. Um, and we're, when we're dehydrated, the muscles and joints don't recover as well. They need the fluid going through their body. So the nutrients from the body gets into those muscles because they actually need the repair. They can sure okay. if you need to make sure they're icing at home too, or indoor heat, depending on what's yep. going on their body. Make sure that the home care outside, because we're again, as a chiropractor, I may see them for a treatment maybe for five minutes, mm -hmm. not very long. What are they doing outside the house? Make sure I have them a guidance with them, an email too, what to do at home to make sure you're getting the full recovery from your care, from your treat, from your accident, and also make sure the care is consistent 24-7. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a big uh you know believer in nutrition, although sometimes I don't eat the best, but of course we're um, human. I, yes. <laughs> but I, I know I know how to eat and you know how to count my my macros and all the carbohydrates and everything. I know the differences between the good carbs and the bad carbs and you know complex and and, sim and simple carbs. You talk about what I'll know sometimes is like walk me through what's your daily diet? What's your what's your routine like? Okay, yeah. okay. if I said I said I always say if it was me, you can always do what you want to do. That point, I would maybe cut this out and maybe add one more of these instead. Absolutely. So, what they are? How do you how do you take that that one step toward a better eating habit um, versus work, trying to give them everything at once? Go, okay, you should just go to fruit and keto. And they're like, what the heck? <laughs> it's like just giving it very simple. So they say it's not only what we tell them, but also what they actually do. That's the biggest thing. And, and if if they're not going to be compliant with stuff even coming in. That right. point, I'm going to be consistently going, hey, like, let's make sure we do something simple. That point, that feels good. Let's do one more step, then one more step, then one more step. Yes. So it's it's basically gradually getting in into a, a mm -hmm. uh, you know, a daily I, change. A healthier lifestyle, per se. So, my, so even though I don't tell them this, I'll say my goal is wherever your diet is right now, whatever your exercise is right now in the routine in an accident, let's make that better. So when we, when we get out of this accident, you're 100%. Then you know your body's going to stay healthy. You know, Absolutely. maintain that habit and not go away from because you know it's going to feel good all the time. Absolutely. Yes. That's why not? Important. And yeah. let me ask you this: So, how do you, you know, how do you collaborate with other physicians mm -hmm. uh, when, it, with, when you know you have a patient that's involved in a car accident or a, a slip and fall? Like, is there something? How do you look for your doctors? Uh, how do you find your specialist? It's finding them sometimes through my attorneys are always the best referrals. Because mm -hmm. sometimes, as you know, uh, patients, um, they don't have what's called medical payment on their on their health, on their auto insurance, so they're not paid directly. So you have to find a doctor that, which is hard to find. Um, so a doctor who take liens, who work on, if you want to call, wait till the case settles and they'll get paid. Doctors don't do that very often. They'd rather get paid by an insurance company or cash. So yeah. finding attorneys usually have the better doctors and deal with cases like this all the time. I'll refer to them. For, for example, a pain management consultant, um, a for example, a possible uh, neurological deficit that isn't going away within two or three months or even two or three weeks sometimes. I, right. I can refer myself directly for an MRI. That's not a problem. I want to make yeah. sure there's a, a secondary doctor on there that's saying that so the insurance company, which is going to pay the bill eventually, will see a reliable credential that says, okay, they saw someone else, they verified the injury, now I know it's a real injury. Right. You know I mean? right. Our companies yeah. are are there to save money for themselves. Sorry, we we know this. They sometimes patients don't know this. Should company want to save money for themselves, but they see enough doctors on the case, enough standard information like an X-ray, like an MRI, and they go, okay, there's information that's saying they're giving a good standard of care to get this person better. Versus, I'm just going to treat them and hope to get better. You right. Have the evidence behind it. Yes, absolutely. Um, and do you? 
let's see, do you have uh, any specific um, ho like home exercises as far as, you know, mental health, uh, you know, where this month is, is mental health awareness. And is there any specific uh, exercises that you, you know, tell your patients to do at home or, or just in general, anything? I mean, for, for me, when I'm unhappy, I tend to put on music and, and just, you know, dance. I kind of look like a crazy person, but at the same time, hey, it works and I'm happy, right? So is there anything that you tell your, your patients to do for mental Especially health? Especially in a car accident, I want to make sure they're doing enough things that get based on where their injury point is and how, how, how much pain they are, is that we have a list of about probably 20 exercises we give our patients mm -hmm. from early stretching in an accident, from intermediate stretching where it feels uncomfortable, to where then you start building more strength and all strength with endurance. And a lot's going to be starting with body weight, obviously, initially, and then lying down to sitting up to go against the wall, then the walking. It's a step process where they are, where their injury point is. And again, what they've done in the past also. Do the exercise normally, if they don't, okay, let's start from scratch, let's start a foundation. I wanna right. make sure we, we send the exercise, we send them as an email, that point they have a visual, a video of what to watch again. Because anytime a patient comes in off, especially in pain, especially have an accident, sometimes they don't remember a lot, what the yeah. doctor will say. They've been there for a half an hour, but sometimes a full hour, depends on how bad their injury is. They leave the office, it's called medical amnesia. They go, what did the doctor say? What, how many times did I do that exercise? How do I do that leg thing? At that point, the video will remind them and, and give them the visual to make sure they're doing the right things the right way, how often to, and Support. how often to do therapy and icing per day to make sure they're guided through their recovery. Again, an accident is, a car accident can cause not only sometimes joint pain, but also ligament and muscle strain. When you make sure those ligament muscles, will, that strain goes away, but goes away, the muscle stays long, not where it stays short. When wow. the muscle stays short too long, causes scar tissue, that's a longer, sometimes a, a most impossible way to get 100%. Wow. So my goal is to make sure they lengthen the muscles if it's not too painful, lengthen the muscles, keep them long so they heal this way, not where the healing is short. Wow. Yeah, no, that, that, that works. I mean, it's incredible how when you get injured, you don't, you know, think about all these things, but they, it's they, not your job. You should cool. trust your doctor, your attorney to get to guide you through this. Um, yeah. A competent doctor, and at that point, they take that. That's why you hire them. To, they take away that unknown. You know, right. people come in here. They're not chiropractors, they, right. but they want. They trust me to give them the advice to get them a hundred percent and make sure they can maintain that. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, let's see here. So, um, as as a as a chiropractor, what aspects of your practice uh, bring you the most fulfillment or satisfaction? It's hearing the patient go, "Hey, I woke up better today. Hey, I started this exercise, and I, I need to start doing more because it feels good." You get the idea of where they're out of the fear, afraid, anxious mentality to where now they're more hopeful. They're obviously in less pain, but they feel they can get stronger and they can feel more relaxed and get better sleep. When someone's yeah. in a stress state over here, their body is tense. The, the way they talk, the words they use, their tone of voice is more tense and afraid. Here it's more confident, more relaxed and happier. Yeah. I, I do a bunch of videos, my, 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 I do uh, interview videos of testimonials, reviews, and a lot of it is I wanna, I, and I, I tell them, do you feel happier now? They go, actually I do. You know, cause that, that stress has gone away that body can relax and feel happy because you're doing the right things to stay happy. Yeah, absolutely. That's the plan. That is definitely, definitely the plan, the plan for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see. So <laughs> after, um, I guess after a car accident, um, is there anything specific that you, you normally tell your patients to do? Like if it's a, a regular patient that comes in and, you know, calls you and says, Hey, I had a car accident yesterday. Is there any specific guide guidelines or anything that you tell them, you know, to make sure that they don't, I don't know, you know, get scar tissue or anything like that? I think is is the almost document for them, even if just a mental documentation of where their pain was today and tomorrow morning, how's it tomorrow? And, and in between what I'll do is talk to them, okay, what do you do differently for it to get better or worse? Mm -hmm. so I want them to take car trip, be proactive in their accident case to where the, so the body heals completely so they know they're getting better or not getting better. Right. So it's like like taking down in a journal or something or yeah. daily journal or something like that. I was telling them have a paper trail. At that point, your paper trail is the best paper trail out there. The attorney may ask you, um, and the, or the attorney may ask you, okay, what happened? I'm not going to remember what happened yesterday. 
Right. What I've done today, and it's that it's that magic of, of writing things down with your hand. Sometimes yeah. it's even easier. You'll under you'll remember it better when you write it down. Absolutely. And yes. your story may change over time, but you'll have the original story on paper. And as you document, you scale almost scale one to ten. How's your pain level? How's your headaches this morning? How's your nerve pain today? How did was it? And I was and then once you feel better, okay, now that you're down to two or three, now what are you doing more that you weren't able to do during the accident? Mm -hmm. Stand longer, able to work longer, able to feel better throughout the day. You have less fatigue now. You yeah, and it, gradually, it gradually happens, right? It's like every 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 week. It's you know, if you don't treat it, it gets worse and worse oh, until time passes by and you don't realize. But all of a sudden, you're you know depressed and you're in pain and you know your life has changed and you know it's important. Well, I, I had someone come in. She was in an accident nine months previous. The attorney dropped the ball. The insurance company dropped the ball. She had no care for six months. From the bad accident, bad accident. Oh. So she had a lot of scar tissue, but again, she had mentioned too, like you had mentioned, John Paul, is a lot of it is is now the emotional. When your body's in a pain state for too long, your body goes into what's called a fight or flight reflex, a stress response. When it does that, then you have problems where you feel sometimes overstressed by mm -hmm. your normal environment, by a normal day. You feel sometimes anxious. That can lead to depression. Yeah, you've gone to that third stage already. My so if you get out of the third stage, okay. I don't I care about your pain. I'll give you that. I'll give you your headaches. I give you that. But I want you, I want you to feel less depressed, less anxious, less overstressed. Because now when they're in that state, they don't sleep very well. That's my sign. When gotcha. they don't sleep well, I go, why are you not sleeping well? I ask them, do you feel anxious, stressed, or depressed? I go and I ask them, how do you sleep? Horribly. I wake up throughout the night, I wake up, and I don't feel recharged at all. I have low energy all day long. Okay, I don't say that your pain's okay. But my priority is going to be how to get that sleep better so we know your body's going out of that stress state into a more relaxed state where it can actually heal properly. Yeah. If you can't get there, then we can't get the healing done to make your body heal from the accident. That's going to be the number, number one goal for my office. Very good. I love it. That's, That's very good. Cool. And uh, are there any uh, recent uh, achievements or developments in the field of chiropractic care that you know have caught your attention, and that's your it's something that you're maybe you know working on in your practice? Not really with chiropractic in general, because the the fundamentals are the fundamentals; they don't mm -hmm. change over time. But mm -hmm. how insurance companies are treating accident cases now, and what you have to do to document properly, as we talked about before, getting the right imaging, getting the right x-rays, MRI would need it, even the nerve testing too, and the right doctors on board. So, so the reimbursement is going to be, if you want to call it customary and regular, not going to get your bill cut in half and having the right attorneys too. Making sure if I refer a patient to an attorney, I know they're good. I'm yeah. going to trust what they would, someone that I like in my family. Yeah, if absolutely. I like I send them everywhere else. I don't know where they go. But a lot of just want to make sure I, I, I'm helping my patient understand is your care, your yourself, if you want to call it that, is basically getting 100%. That's my job. Make sure the right person's on your team to get you there and the settlement required to replace the total car that, that they paid you out somewhat of, but not, not enough. People understand. They, they don't understand when I got my car totaled out, totaled out I'm like, I apologize. I go, what do you mean? You didn't get the full amount that the car was worth when you bought it. Now you have to put money out of pocket. You have a payment that you had a car that was paid off. Now you have that, not to take money out of pocket. So can your settlement hopefully based on what your attorney does, what your chiropractor does, based on what the other doctors do too, get you that full settlement so you can reimburse yourself for a new car if need be, or a used car to get back to your normal quality of life, you know? Yep. That's the goal. It's not It's not getting, um, it's not the uh, Larry H. Park, I got 1.2 million, <laughs> can't get out of bed in the morning, but I want to be 100% quality of life and have enough to pay everything else. So I, I end up at the ex end of the day, zero balance on everything that happened from the accident. That's important. Yeah. That's all comes down to. Yeah, it, it gets complicated uh, once you once you get into an accident. And there's always so many things that, you know, that people don't know about that happens in PI. And uh, that's actually why we came up with this show so that people learn right. and educate themselves. Yeah. Well, it's, it's having the patient the right expectation, what to expect from an accident, at least financially, um, beyond their physical health, beyond their car damage stuff, too. So they're not not being told by uh, some attorney that, hey, you're going to get, I, I can get you $300 million on this case. I'm like, no, you can't, you know, <laughs> because it wasn't sign up with them. And all of a sudden right. that attorney drops the ball and gets nothing for them. That, that's what, that's what it gives attorneys a bad name when you have attorneys like that or, or lawyers out there that say that, but they can't follow through with what they, what they actually can do. 
yeah yeah that's that's the yeah that's the that's that's uh, that's bad period i mean not bad not good at all i did disappoint some people do that yep yep and is there anything that you do specifically to stay up to date with all the research and development in auto auto injury whiplash and is there like um are you part of any groups or any specific ones you want to shout out not really per se i i just have some attorneys that i work with all the time and a lot of it is they they allow me the inside knowledge of what's what what insurance companies are reimbursing for and nothing to work backwards to uh, to work to if you want to call it uh, treat people but i want the patients to know this too i want to make sure we have, it's very transparent of of what i'm talking attorney with and what the patients talk attorney with too so we're all on the same team so it's teamwork to get the care done properly and at that point get everything done closed properly too so the patient gets reimbursed and set everything gets settled out as soon as possible That's you great. know my last manager, she she does a phenomenal job that she's hard to find. She's run the show for the last, I want to say a thousand years, but but a lot of it is she'll filter out attorneys that we that we won't want to work with because of the endpoint game. Okay. So we want to make sure I, I've had I've patients who pay out from acts and pay directly to them, and then we don't ever see them again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's something to where it's gonna to have to be fair in all ways. At that point, the person again gets better, it gets reimbursement done. But working with resources, things like that, those are. I don't like to get there's the smegs that come to my office about be be careful of this company be careful of this because a lot of it it's it's negative marketing to push you in one direction. Right, right. So once you have the fun with people, you can you you know if, if when it, a for law firm as long as my office manager says hey we trust them we can work with them boom we're done. She's yeah. done the work. She knows she's been here long enough to to realize the patterns people tell her um, when they first have the first conversation of say yes or no. Yeah. Or even sometimes it may be. We'll try one case and then see. You know, yeah. it's making sure the attorney has the the client's best interest in mind when we do the first phone call. Absolutely. Yeah. It has to be. Without it that, there's it's it obviously everyone's different, but at that point we're not we don't start. It's like it's the first date, right? I, it's been a thousand years of my first date. It the first date goes bad, right? You're it's setting bad. yourself up for a long <laughs> relation, not ship, but the other word. Yep. Yep. And is there, um, is there anything, um, I guess specific, uh, as far as, um, like say for instance, like with the patients that, that treat with you for PI, you know, they're involved in an accident. Um, mm -hmm. do they end up in a way staying with you? Like, is there a certain percentage of them that do stay with you and, and refer family and friends and, and things like that uh has that is that something that has happened to you yeah and, and john paul because we're a family practice we've been Dallas has been here forever in upland uh -huh. we're going to see people that are patients now accident that point accident closes there's still patients here what and we'll it? see their kids their grandkids their great grandkids whatever it is too the practice is the practice yeah when someone needs care for their back or neck accident case work injury home injury whatever it is too they come here first they, I had someone come today. I seen him for two years. Injury. He works at UPS. Um, mm -hmm. Not, no, not a car accident. But because we saw him two years ago, we took care of him. At that point, that goodwill, that you want to call it competent care, whatever you want to call it, got him to come back, even though we're far away now from him, because he trusts our first opinion. Yeah. What do we think first? Absolutely. And, yeah. and you, when you have a relationship with that, it doesn't matter if you're in a car accident or anything else. Is you people come back to you because they want to make sure they're getting the right idea and right if you want to call it diagnosed initially not being told something else that they're not going to believe you know right. when, they have, when they like someone they like someone it's like a mechanic yeah they, they go i don't know how this this thing thingamajig works but do you think it need fixed it does okay good good let's fix it yep yep yes it's that trust it's factor i think it doesn't matter what happens you always that trust is hard to get but once you get it to keep it is key yeah absolutely so, um, I mean, I, I look forward to hopefully having you on our directory soon. I, you know, I think last time that we had our, our interview, we, we talked something about it. Um, and I also am looking forward to hopefully meeting you in person. I think you yes. are a very interesting chiropractor compared to all the other ones out there. You seem to know what you're doing uh, as far as marketing and, uh, and staying really just engaged with the community. I mean, that's what really it's about right now. And, in, and, in, in this, you know, 2023 and probably moving forward, it's only going to get bigger and bigger. And it's so, not that hard to do, you know, and talking yeah. contractors or attorneys too, you just got to put your stuff out there. I shoot videos in my office, my patients, 
exercise videos. And some in my and again, I've done it for a long time now, almost 10 years now, at least since 20, 2012, is nice. putting things out there that you're comfortable with that is genuine. Yeah. Again, we talk, we didn't set anything up. We set some questions up, but it's more like it's not like That's scripted. It. Right. You just need to talk and and do enough videos where you're comfortable sharing your message. Yep. yep. Whatever yep. that message is. Exactly. Know? Whatever it is. Yeah, just be yourself. That's and it. And as you do more videos, people build you're in their mind they they build a reputation this guy must be good because he puts more videos out this guy gets a lot i don't, I don't care about views or comments it's the videos of genuine and, and my marketing is exercise videos my marketing is wow. how do you stretch my marketing is doing a talk with jean paul about how to help people through an accident yeah give yep. people information that they can use when they need it when they need it to see a chiropractor wonderful you know, it's all it's coming best. down. Nobody yeah. knows when you're back. It was going to back pain, neck pain sometime in life. For well, sure. you know, the guy that, that is in the yellow pages, which is for, as kids know, they're, it's dead. Yellow pages are dead. Yeah. But, or on social media, where you see him, hey, he does this video, help this person over here, has a testimonial from this person. Yep. Maybe it's pretty good. Yep. And you get to learn about them and just who they are and how they react to things and whether they're funny or not. And, and that kind of helps you, you know, realize and, and choose which chiropractor you want to go to. And it takes me maybe, I want to say maybe six, seven hours a week that mm -hmm. I spend doing all the videos, editing, interviews, all the other stuff I do around that. But it's worth it when you look at the ROI of not only helping your community, if, if you genuinely want to help the community, but right. also building your practice up, whatever it might be, so you can get that benefit of the ROI of the work you do. Absolutely. It just takes time. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't take a lot of, you don't want to overthink it just put the videos out and people gravitate to your personality based on what they want to see and what they want to hear and again when they need you to i love it i love the analogy beautiful Perfect. um what is the best way to get a hold of you and uh you know email phone number you know Perfect. if you email. want to look if you fear if you're look up upland california right back here is uh, i'll get out of my way for a second right back here uh upland california hey, uh. <laughs> that's my that's my office name you could chiropractic um, we're number one chiropractor in Apple. We have number of reviews and uh, reviews on Yelp and Google. Uh, any social media you're on too, look up our office. If you want to also go to Instagram, TikTok, all those places too, you can up there. At that point, you'll find us. You know, easy. But it always gives a call too. We're a phone call office, old school office, call, so book your appointment. Or if you want information, go to our Google and Yelp, put a message on there, and I can always respond to you that way directly from me. I love it. I love how easy it is uh -huh. to get a hold of people nowadays, especially the business owners, easy. right? <laughs> easy. And, and I, the thing is, too, Jabal, I give everyone my phone number when they leave my office the first day. When I get nope. their videos, get their email, too. I go, here's my number, blah, blah. No one ever calls me. Maybe yeah. don't like me. I'm not sure what it is. They just don't like me, probably. I don't know what it is. <laughs> that, but, but having some, it's like, like when someone has your phone number, they know they can reach you. They go, I'll just reach him when I really need to reach him. But it's him. an emergency, right? Yes. I had I had, I had my one of my patients in bad, bad shape. Uh, text me this weekend. Hey, I had this going on. Get some advice on the phone. Boom, boom, boom. In and out. Done. It's good. You know, save them another visit to the ER. Yeah, big time. You yeah. Know? That's a Easy. lot of time sa of saving because going to the ER is like four or five hour wait minimum unless you take the ambulance, right? I, I had a patient. He came in upset on a Monday. He goes, man, I'm so upset. He goes, I came here. You have to do some of his care. I was here for five minutes. I feel better than I was for the three hours I spent in the yard this weekend. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> you know? Oh man. Well, that's I mean, that's that's how some some people are like that, you know. There's nothing mm -hmm. else we can do about it. Well, right. I really uh I was gonna say I really enjoyed having you. Um, I think we're running a little bit out of time because yeah, I'm good. Good. the the time thing that Zoom or whatever is sure. we're using. Um, but, uh, I seriously, I look forward to hopefully seeing you here at the PI show and Good. the actual show at the studio. And, uh, yep. I look forward to, are you going to Cala or Lotte Gras or any of the other? Um, companies? not really. I've, I've got this stuff on my plate right now for one, too. I just kind of keep it very low key, very easy. And, uh, yeah. keep our fundamentals don't change. What we do treat yeah. people, we treat people. It doesn't matter what year it is, what's going on out there. We, the human body is a human body. Yeah. How do we focus on that and not get too fancy with other equipment stuff? And on my office, very simple. We adjust people, put them on a roll table with an ice pack or a heat pack, make sure they do stuff at home, and boom, get the heck out. Okay. I don't waste time with people. Just go. They have their own life to live. Yeah, time is time is very valuable. No, I don't I don't, I don't buy the expense when we have an extra machine too. We don't do all the other extra some doctors do just to say they do more stuff. We just take care of people. Wonderful. Simple.
Love it. Well, hopefully I can come by one one of these days and get an adjustment or something by you. <laughs> you got to get out there too, then. I think there's a couple of good golf courses out there near you too. So there is. I'll stop sure. by the office when I want to get out there. All right. Got it. All right, Dr. Tony. Well, thank you so much for having us and or for you know stopping by and doing the show with us. And uh, we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you, my friend. Have a good day. You too. All right, man.